Hello again, everyone. I'm just um, making this video um, to share some of my recent dreams that I had and also share a few words um, from the word or at least talk about um, some things from the word to think about. Um, yeah, I know I just made a video not too long ago. Um, actually, yes, yeah, here, May 31st. Um, I said a, a bunch of different dreams in that video, talked about a bunch of different dreams in that video. Um, I got a couple more um, today. Um, but I uh, also wanted to share that, uh, you know, the Lord is uh, really stressing to me that uh, I have to warn people they have to uh, share the word, they have to speak, um, they have to let people know that um, we don't have much time. Um, we don't have much time at all. I mean, if we look around, I know I mentioned it in my last video, um, but, uh, you know, you can clearly see that there's uh, things going on in the world today, right now, um, bunch of different uh um events um uh, terror attacks different things around the world um there's rumors of wars wars and rumors of wars um i mean there's everything that's uh that it says that's going to be the last days that's basically what's going on right now i mean if you know anything about the bible uh, you can clearly see that these are the last days um, and I really believe that the Lord is going to be coming, um, returning soon, take his, um, take his people. And, uh, I just hope that you're prepared. Um, especially if you're a Christian, if you're a Christian and you gotta, um, do your best to, uh, to live like a Christian, to do the things that the Lord tells you to do. Um, he wants you to clean up your life. Um, he wants you to be separate from the world. He don't want. He does not want you to keep living um, in your sin, doing the same things that you possibly did before. Um, he wants you to um, to change. Um, you know, if the Lord or not if, but when the Lord returns, um, you want to be ready. Because if not, you know, you don't want to have to um, think about. Possibly not to uh, not go uh, being received by the Lord and staying down here, basically staying here. Um, you may have to go through some really dark times and tough times if you're here during the tribulation period or something. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, I think that um, something is gonna happen very soon um, and the Lord is just trying to warn as many people as possible and he's going to use the believers the ones that um, he's calling to warn people um, so I'm trying to do that as well um, and if you see the video just try to try to um, spread the word um, okay so let's get into the to what I have here on uh, June 2nd 2017 I heard a a voice said Russia while I was praying. The voice said Russia. You know, and um, I've been having a lot of like vague visions of of our president, kind of just very vague. I don't know, just some barely being very vague in some of my um, visions while I'm, while I'm praying and different things. So I don't know if uh, he might have something to do with what's going on. Or, um, really be involved in the future of uh, prophecy. So, I don't know. Um, I can't really say for sure, but uh, he's uh, definitely involved. I mean, he's in, involved in a lot of things right now. And like I said, if we're living in the last days, um, everyone must play some sort of part, including him, especially someone in, in that position. So just something to think about. Um, also had a dream of intense fighting 
in modern warfare with troops from various regions. Um, so that's basically war. I mean, that's a modern war. Um, I don't think it was that detailed. I can't remember too much, but I know that there was definitely fighting. And that was after I had the vision, heard the voices of Russia. So I don't know if that means that it's going to be war with Russia or war with someone else. But um, I know everybody's been talking a lot about Russia, China. Um, of course, you got North Korea there. Um, I mean, it's definitely, like I said, um, wars and rumors of wars going on right now. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, I had dream of working large field continuously while listening to the right things to stay in the work, to stay in the work, to stay in the word and to stay in the work. And what that means is just keep your head down and keep doing what you're supposed to be doing if you're if you're a Christian. So keep the, keep reading your Bible, keep praying, keep trying to share the word. Keep trying to warn others if if um, you're warning others, keep keep doing it. Um so I was basically in this large field and I was just working the field, you know, just cutting these plants. It kind of looked like bamboo shoots or something like that. And I just kept cutting them in this just this big giant field. Um, and I just continuously did it, Let's, you know. And um, and there was like, um, was, I think I was listening to the radio or something, and uh, it was a, it was on a Christian radio station. So you know, I was just in the work, you know, in the word, in the work, and I just kept doing it, not really thinking about it, just just staying with, uh, keeping the faith base, doing what's right. Yes, I'm trying. Um, then, uh, don't remember here. Keep your focus on the Lord and walk with Him always. And He will guide you and show you the way. Keep the faith and stay separate from the world. This is peace and safety. I'm saying this this time period is peace, peace and safety. And when they said, um, when they say peace and safety comes sudden destruction. So right now we're in that peace and safety period where there is no destruction, there is no war. But it's, it's going to happen eventually. It's going to happen. We don't know when, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Lord, please give me the strength. So just trying to give myself, uh, ask the Lord to give me encouragement. Um, so... So those are the dreams there. Um, then I have this uh, section from Acts. When it's uh, talking about Saul. And it's just something to think about. Um, if you're a believer or if you're uh, not a believer and you feel that um, you want to make a change and you can make a difference. So here it says recruiting from the opposition. This is from my Bible. Um, but it's just kind of commenting, commenting on Saul. You know, Saul of Tarsus. He became Paul. After uh, Jesus came to him um, on the road to Damascus. He had a vision, and Jesus was talking to him, and uh, he said, why do you persecute my people? And um, he made him blind, and when he was able to see, he uh, basically changed his life, um, and he started serving the Lord. So it says, a former bounty hunter breaks through to the Gentiles, and he wrote a lot of the, the books in the New Testament speaking to the Gentiles. He was like the... the uh, I guess you could say oh, the disciple. He was a disciple or a prophet for Gentiles. And he'd be the one that kind of focused on the Gentiles um, to reach out to them. And here it says in Acts chapter 9, verse 21, all those who heard him, Saul, were astonished and asked, isn't he the man who raised havoc in Jerusalem among those who call on um, this name? So basically, he was a 
he was uh, preaching for um, Jesus and you know condoning him, but he was um, they remember him for going against people that was uh, who was calling on that name, you know, who was going for Jesus. He was going against him. So now, you know, he's he's the one um, speaking for it, speaking up for it. So they thought that was very uh, peculiar. Um, but that just goes to show you that the Lord can use anyone. I mean, if he if he changed Saul and um, he used to persecute Christians and he he turned them basically uh, into one of the you know apostles and one of the ones that he used uh, greatly to reach out to Gentiles and, and others to spread the word. So. The Lord will pretty much use any anyone, which is my my point. So if you're someone that you might feel like there's a calling, but you feel like uh, you're not worthy, um, that's not the case. That's not the case. The Lord can use anyone. Um, so if the Lord is speaking to you today, or you feel like He's He's tugging at your heart. Um, Answer the call. Do what the Lord is telling you to do. Uh, I think he's going to reach out and call a, a lot of different people. Like I said, I think he was telling me, calling me to, um, telling me to do things. Um, and if that's the case, um, if uh, he's talking to you, he, he's, saying, he's showing you different things, and maybe that's what uh, that you should do too. Um, but, but he can use anyone that he needs, uh, that he wants to use. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. But yeah, I think uh, we definitely don't have much time. Uh, if you don't know the Lord, um, ask Him into your heart. Ask Him into your heart. Um, he wants to save as many people as possible before it's too late. Um, so if you don't have a relationship with the Lord, ask Him to your heart. Um, and He will save you. Call on the Lord. Um, repent from your sins. Don't keep living in your sins. Don't keep living in the world. Um, Jesus says that. Jesus is the only way. He's the only way out of here. The only way out of this right now. It's uh, it's definitely getting bad. And, um, he's gonna return soon. And you gotta change your ways and be ready. Things are going to get worse. Um, anyways, um, hopefully this uh, helps someone out there. Um, and I say stay blessed and and uh, keep, your, uh, keep your mind on the Lord and uh, stay in prayer and uh, stay, in the, stay in the word. All right. All right. Talk to you guys later.